What's going on, everybody? I can't be my loud self. Probably some of you might actually like. I got the sun blaring right in my face, but we're doing another tour today. But I don't want to wake people up. It's morning time. I've got an amazing gentleman right here, Travis. What's up? And we are going to tour his van. You may recognize the layout because he actually works with somebody that I've shown on my channel before, but uh, he as well is a very good builder. You are now getting rid of and you're gonna do another one. I'm gonna do another one. Van Something life. Something a little different though. Well, we're gonna get all that information in this video coming up right now. So this video is sponsored by my friends over at Surfshark. And so what is Surfshark? Surfshark is a VPN company and VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. So why is this important to my audience or even me for that matter? And why would I be promoting it? Well, I'll explain right now. For a lot of the van lifers out there and when I was full time, this includes myself, is we get a lot of work done, coffee shop Wi-Fi's or library Wi-Fi's or anywhere that has a public Wi-Fi network. So if you are in a coffee shop and you're using their network, even though there's a password to get into it, it's still very public. Anybody with that password can get into that network. What a VPN does is actually acts as a middleman and all of your searches and everything that you do on your computer, a protection for the most part. That's really the best way to explain it without going into extreme technicalities. But in 2022, with the amount of cyber hacking that is going on, having a VPN is extremely important, not just for your computer, but also for your phone. So you can actually secure everything privately on your phone as well with Surfshark. What's also great about Surfshark is if you are a traveler that likes to travel abroad into different countries, but you don't want to miss out on, you know, a Hulu show or an Amazon Prime show or something along those lines, if you tap into your VPN, you can actually still stream any of your shows in any other country. So a lot of van lifers actually head down to Mexico for the winter. Well, you can actually use Surfshark to still stream all of your favorite shows and TV and all that things through Surfshark, which is fantastic. With all of the cybersecurity and all the things that really Surfshark is trying to do to help our community, they have offered a massive discount. If you go to the description below and you can see the link, you can also use my code Tachi, you will get up to 83% off plus three months for free. That's an extra three months plus the 83% off. This is a win-win for everybody. You get security, you get 83% off, which I'm shocked by that much. And they even threw in the three extra months, which is awesome. On top of all of the discounts and the extras and all that stuff, they offer a 30 day money back, no risk. Check out that description below for Surfshark. Now back to the video. I bet you my audience loves the fact that I cannot be loud right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, people sleeping. Excuse the coffee up on his counter. That's actually mine. Um, but Trav, what's up, man? Yeah, this is my van. It's a 2019 3500 159 extended. Shower right here in the front. Let's yeah. get right into it. You you did a shower yeah. at the front. Everybody that has known my channel, the first person that we've seen do that was Shaden. Shaden, yeah. and that's where you guys kind of collaborated together. Yeah. You were gonna show me this thing right here, but I also want to talk about the toilet used to be there for Shaden. So oh, yeah. what did you do differently? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Got a little hatch here, and the toilet's inside on drawer slides. And that pulls out. So pretty nice much, toilet. you fixed that issue. Yeah. Everybody was all complaining about that, like, oh, I wouldn't have the toilet there. I didn't want it, like, permanently, like, in the entrance of the van. Uh, what did you use for the flooring? Um, this is like a poplar like outdoor decking and I just sanded it down and then stained it myself because it had like a bright red stain on it and didn't really go with the color scheme so redid it made it my own it's an aluminum shower pan so yeah no rust or anything and it is sloped to the drain as well so oh, I'll have to be parked totally on level ground to use it um, and it will still drain so I'm not trying to call you out but I'm gonna ask you how many times you've used it Twice. <laughs> and how long you been full time in this? Um, five months. Five months, cool. But I do have the luxury of having a lot of friends with houses, so 
I park in front of their house a lot, and I can just use their shower. I'll also say that we have we have facilities here at Tiny Fest that you just took a shower at. Yep, yeah. That's yeah. why you look so fresh and so clean. Exactly, so fresh and so clean. All right, I'm gonna get in so we can talk about the front if that's yeah, yeah, cool. Go ahead. Nice, warm, cozy. All right, dude. Well, talk to me. Let's let's yeah. go through it. You got. Before we do that, I want to finish off the shower. You got this cool shower head, and you actually have another. Yeah, rainfall, and then an outdoor wand. I do actually use this a lot. Washing um, stuff off? Yeah, just like my shoes, sand, because I just go run on the beach or go for a swim. Even my one wheel, I'll close that off a little bit. If yeah, I like, call you, where's your one wheel? It was, well, it was right there, but <laughs> I call you guys all the one wheel gang because literally <laughs> you and all your crew has one wheels. Like, what's up with that? Perfect accessory to van life because you can park anywhere. It's got a 20 mile range and you can just go, go. wherever you need. Walk me through your galley, man. Again, guys, sorry, yeah. this is not a beer. This is coffee. I'm going to take that and I'm the sorry. I wanted to do something a little different. I hadn't seen many people do bamboo countertops, so I went and got bamboo, um, finished it myself with a countertop finish, section for cooking and preparation, and then you've got the dual burner induction cooktop. I wanted a pretty bright light here just to shine for cooking and preparation. Got a big sink, got this awesome cutout as well that I made, um, so that just slots in there so you can Extra have a nice counter space. seamless counter space. Two overhead cabinets, there's not really much in them. Paper plates, and then down here I did my water filter system. So I got a three stage water filter and a six gallon hot water heater. So that's pretty awesome for when I do use the shower. Your hot water heater, is that electric? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what? Well, this is always the thing I love talking about. It's out of sight, out of mind. What is your electrical system in here? Um, so it's 620 amp hours of lithium. This is interesting because you and all your one wheel gang, yep. you guys all use massive power. Yeah. Like you guys just <laughs> love using big power. Yeah. So your 600 amp hours yeah. is way more than enough. Oh yeah, plenty. I, mean, I never wanted to worry about it. Okay, it's one of those things. Yep. Uh -huh. I can leave my lights on all day, all night. <laughs> you no can run problem. your heater. Like run you could, heater, you could run, run everything. Run my fridge, um, which is awesome. Fridge is a Dometic, um, 110 stainless steel. Wow. Yeah. We got some white got claws. The white claws, a sandwich, some <laughs> raspberries, and some mac and cheese. Uh, how many watts of solar are on the roof? 900 watts of solar. Wait a minute. You have 900 watts of solar yeah. and 600 amp hours of battery. Yeah. I mean, you need to charge up those batteries quick. Yeah, I uh, I don't have to uh, worry about running out. Dude, your power is ridiculous. You realize that, right? I also have a 60 amp DC to DC charger. Which is bigger than most. Yeah. Well, the plan was to have more power draw but i just haven't put it in yet so what else are you trying to do um i do want a portable air conditioning unit plug that into ac and run it um and then i still need to install my heater as well oh okay so your heater's not in yet yeah your yeah. heater's not in yet not in yet okay but cool i do have it it's just sitting in my garage of course um <laughs> it's not like you don't have a life right yeah exactly uh, all right i'll switch sides and we can talk about the rest of the van before you get to this cool happy jack system yeah. you actually also created a seat where you just sat down i didn't even was going to talk about that <laughs> but like like it's actually a really cool design you know yeah. i know shaden did this seating setup as well or a lot of people do this happy jack setup yeah, right jack setup, yeah, but cool. you made it you made the bench a little bit longer just so you could have a seat while your bed was down. Exactly. Okay, so yeah. that was your whole point there? And it also doubles as my dirty laundry storage, so I just have a little... Which, little oh, I'm sorry, here. goes overlooked in vans. Yeah. Nobody talks about hampers. No, yeah, that's where my laundry goes. Okay, cool. <laughs> Happy Jack bed system, um, which is awesome. Convertible dinette as well if you want a lower bed. Um, so have you done the bunk style? I've never actually done the bunk style. Anytime everyone's ever slept over, they've just slept on one side of the bench. Okay. But if I had like multiple people, I would have to set up the, the table in between these slats and put the cushions out. And how do you sleep? Do you sleep this way? I sleep this way, okay. which is six two from end to end. Nice. And then um, 56 inches wide. And you know, does your mattress like cantilever over or how does that work? Um, no, it doesn't. It cuts off right here and then the back rests oh, actually look at that. form the rest of the mattress. So that's pretty awesome. So that was just like a design by you figuring that out like, oh, I have to do it this way. Yeah. Pretty and cool. Cause I figured that 90% of the time I would just be in here, you know, with one, two people max. I wouldn't be having like a slumber party with five people in my van. I mean, sometimes but. if you're out at like Burning Man or something. <laughs> yeah. 
But I'll put that up so you can see the dinette. And is this the Happy Jack or is this your own thing that you guys made? Yeah, this is the Happy Jack. Because I don't think anybody's ever seen the mechanicals of a Happy Jack kind of rotating. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's like interesting. Chains. Yeah, I still need to put some trim over that. That's okay. We're not going to judge you, dude. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's basically chain and pulley system. Um, the motor's in the corner that powers everything. It's all ran on 12 volt. Um, pretty low power as well. So Yeah, it it's not a big draw, right? It doesn't take a lot. Um, so That's yeah. So much more the room. Happy Jack is up. Um, and then you can turn this into the dinette. Yeah, it is a huge table. Now, right yeah. now it's lower, guys, because yeah, but it, he can lift it up because that's how lagoon tables are made. Yeah. But I see exactly what you're talking about. But yeah, and then you open up this huge seating area, battery so, monitoring, some USBs on each side for charging. Oh, got my iPhone charger about to pop out. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what's funny is it says 100% on your battery over there, and I don't yeah. feel like it goes below 90 ever. <laughs> I've had it go to 80 once. Really? Yeah. Wow, what the heck were you running in here? The stove and the water heater. At the same time? Uh, kind of. So it's on a timer switch, the water heater. Nice. So I ran that for 20 minutes, and then I did a stove. So. You must have a big enough inverter. Three th yeah, 3,000 watt. 3,000 watt, yeah. Okay. I love the fabric, by the way. Thank you. You covered up all the metal. I'm going to sit down and yeah, kind yeah. of chill with you. I did um, custom upholstery onto wood backing, and then I attached that to the panels, and then I went with the bamboo theme. This is kind of where the windows would have been. I don't know if you know, like on the like yeah. the Pro Masters when they come, they have like plastic inserts on these pieces. So I kind of copied the shape of those and then put those on just to tie into the bamboo theme of the van um, and give it some like lighter accents in the back. I'm gonna talk to you about what's above those. Yeah. Those are interesting. Yeah. So what's up? Most that? people don't have these in the van. I'll show you the the first feature, which is an outdoor light so when you open the back doors you can turn these lights on oh um on remote and so it shines a ton of light outside those are actually really bright i had i had to put a trailer hitch on the back yeah and i had those installed and i was doing it at night and i turned those on and it was perfect and bada bang you yeah. love it yeah that's pretty that's really nifty um, and then what people may not be able to see i'm gonna get up and show yeah, everybody yeah. is right next to those lights are these like fans yeah, and I'm so like, what are, are those fans doing? My vent fans, actually. So those combined are equivalent power to a max air fan. So so you don't have a max air fan here? I don't have a max air fan. And it's because you have 900 watts of solar on the roof? 900 watts. I do have room, but I wanted to be super stealthy, and I didn't want a bunch of power or a bunch of roof vents sticking out the top. So you turn that on. I have a window on the slider door. Okay. And it just pulls the air all the way through the van. Cools me off nicely. We call that cross ventilation. That's yeah. actually really intelligent. So, and it's it's up high as well, and that's kind of down low. So it gives you a really good breeze pulling through. I'm gonna get some B-roll the outside of what yeah, that looks yeah. like because it'll be cool. it probably has a vent there, if I had to guess. Yeah, they're pretty hidden as well. Um, are they? Most people are like, what's that? <laughs> So do you, uh, because you said just said you stealth, do you stealth out in the cities and then you kind of just run those? And yeah. They're also, they're a little, like, they're loud in here, but I can guarantee you can't hear them outside. Yeah, you can't really hear them outside. And they're not even that loud, honestly. It's like white noise. It, it is nice for sleeping, especially is, in the city when there's cars driving by and dogs barking and you have those in the background. Yeah, you run those pretty much on like a hot summer San Diego night. Yeah, exactly. In regards to the stealth aspect, have you got any door knocks? Never, not once. Have you got a ticket? Okay, and you have been in this van for five months. Were you in a van before this? I was in a van before, yeah. Yeah, you got. You, I knew you Which were. Which I did get knocked on and did get a ticket. Did in. you really? Yeah. And then you realize I need to stealth out a little bit more? Yeah. Okay. I was like, they know. What was different between the first van and this van? The solar stuck off the roof a little bit more, and then I had two Max Air Vent fans. I think those are kind of like a dead giveaway. I'm oh, like, for sure. Yeah, for they sure. Live they live in there. They call it... In San Diego, they call it vehicle habitation laws. All right, so before we go outside, do you mind showing me this closet? Yeah, I'll show you the closet, and then I have one cool little feature that's hidden that I like to show off. Oh, you have a hidden um, feature, yeah. huh? Um, so massive, this is a massive, massive closet, closet, dude. <laughs> a big battery bank, big solar, yeah. and now you have a big closet. So all my clothes are up here, and then this is just kind of extra storage, trash can, closet, you know, towels, cleaning supplies. And then my toilet does take up a good section of the lower half of the closet. Oh, that's what that white block down there is. Cool. Now, you, uh, this is literally enough room for two people to be up in here. Yeah. I did, yeah, because I, I designed it for me and for, you know, future purchasers. So 
I figured this would be kind of something that a family could use very well. So yeah, for a family sure. would also want a big closet. What is this hidden feature you speak of? Yeah, it's fun. I mean, other people do it, but I think I did it really well. It's under, under here. I've got uh, these really cool little, uh, let's see, toe kick drawers. Oh yeah, look at that. That I fashioned up. I was like, why are you showing me your feet right now? <laughs> <laughs> Those yeah. are pretty nifty. So made some cool toe kick kick drawers and they go all the way around so what well, you're right there have been other people that have done it but I don't, I don't see it often and you know everybody usually brings the cabinetry right down to the ground yeah. in these vans because you kind of have to all my storage there nice organization oh look at you man i like it bamboo all the way through because you're so stealthy you don't really have much on the outside <laughs> i don't have anything on the outside okay we which don't... is awesome and the solar panels are really slim kind of just looks like a Thin roof rack. I mean, you can see them up there. Yeah, dude. Like we normally would talk about outside, but there's really not much going on. And the pl I did take the black and run it all the way across the rails because I didn't like on the Promasters how it's plastic and then white underneath as well. I know it's weird. So I just continued the black all the way over. Yeah. And the plan was in this empty section to do a little bit of a roof deck that's the same thickness of the solar panels just to carry it all the way back to the end of those mounting rails that I did. So you got the AC, the heater, and the roof deck to do. Yep, exactly. And then... Uh, oh, those are the roof vents. Those are the roof vents. Yeah. So, very small, pretty unnoticeable. You want to show me anything else? I mean, we kind of went through everything pretty quick because you did everything like simple but efficient. Thank you, appreciate it. I really like these steps that I installed. So yeah, talk those to me about nice. these. Um, they're car truck steps. Okay. I bolted them underneath to the frame, so it makes it easy to get in and out. Um, for anybody that has built vans, understands that getting in and out of the van 900 times, uh, you know, having a nice little step probably helps. Helps a lot. Uh, what is the other thing done? Is that just the drain for? Um, that is my water fill valve. So I did the water fill outside the van, and I did the water tank underneath the van as well. Did I ask how many gallons that was? Um, no, I did 50 gallons of fresh water. That's a lot. I know. <laughs> That's a I'm lot. actually thinking of downsizing the freshwater tank and then putting so it'll have like an equal size freshwater and gray water tank underneath future buyers because right now I don't use a gray water tank I mean um, you drain straight to the ground yeah yeah I mean why why not I mean we don't we all use biodegradable stuff exactly simple but efficient big power big solar big closet big living yeah <laughs> it's very comfortable honestly uh, I never feel out of place there. I'm always comfortable and cozy. Anytime anyone's over, they're like, oh, this doesn't feel like a van. It feels like I'm in a house. You go in there and it's kind of like you're in your own little world. Of course. It's nice and quiet as well. So. People may say, oh, there's no windows in the back. Well, he's got this one window right here and anybody that does anything of stealth camping understands it's that. Slider window. There it is. Travis, I've already put your Instagram up or your, your contact info, but what is your, what's your social media? Um, so it's Travis Manning and then the I and Travis is a one. The, uh, okay, cool. The, the guy who has Travis Manning was a former NFL player and has the blue check, so there's no way I'm getting the username. <laughs> <laughs> is he doesn't play in the NFL anymore? He doesn't play in the NFL anymore. Yeah, man, I can't wait to see another creation that you do. Thank you. Let's sell this and, and go, let's do another one. You're going to, yeah. obviously, you're not giving up van life. No, definitely not. The next one I'm doing, I imported a Toyota from Japan. So oh, did you get the highest? Yep. Okay. It's so you went small. Oh, yeah, I went way smaller. Okay. Four like, by four, right hand drive manual. That's going to be interesting. Yeah. I can't wait to see you go smaller because this is a large van, obviously. Oh, it's a huge van. I just wanted to try something different. Nah, Challenge you, myself, see what I can fit into a even I am, smaller space. I'm not going to judge you there only because I do the same thing. <laughs> I love trying to challenge myself. It's so fun. I'll really have to downsize the uh, wardrobe. <laughs> All right, for the people that are interested in the high aces, do you mind saying what the Toyota high ace ran you for the in portion? Um, so I actually bought it for $6,000. You got that cheap. So I got it for a really good deal. Um, it does have rust. Um, oh, so you're going to do some body work? So I have to do body work. Prepared to do the body work. I can weld. I can do all that stuff. Um, and I have a lot of people that can help me do body work. So I wasn't too scared of it. But I think the rust scared a lot of buyers off. So it sat on the market for a while. So I was able to get it for a good deal. You lucky SOB. <laughs> uh, I am jealous you got that for six grand. Yeah, because like the, the ones in good condition are like $20,000. Easy. And easy. Like, so guys, give them a follow because you're going to see the high ace. You're going to see probably another van. You and Shaden work a lot together yep, with your one-wheel gang. I don't know what to call you guys, but I'm going to call you guys the one-wheel gang. 
Uh, thank you, Trav. Uh, you were awesome, and uh, glad to have you on, man. Let's keep on, keep on keeping on. I'll see you soon. All right, pal. <laughs> Later. I could run through the fire. I could come.